yeah it's funny when uh you see scripture come literally to your to your front door to real life right like it's it's actually hilarious to me um so i was in the office a couple of weeks ago and one of the residents that lives in the building i manage comes to my door i'm in the office by myself the man comes to my door at least five ten you know caucasian male i ain't scared of him but came to my door um there was a there was an issue he was trying to argue with me i was not having it i don't need to argue with anybody right so um i told him hey you're coming at my door you're trying to keep this argument going or i'm telling you to go away this is harassment you know got to pull the same card that they like to pull on us and closed the door went about my day sent an email um did the reports everything that i needed to do and it dawned on me yesterday when my assistant told me that the same man came back to the office to apologize I haven't said anything to this man since that um, since that incident. I haven't said anything. Man came back to the office to apologize uh, <laughs> if I felt like he was harassing me. And it's just funny to me because it seems like every single person this year who has gone out of their way to offend me who has gone out of their way to speak evil on me who has gone out of their way to do or say things that God saw them and made them repent and every single time they have to come back and apologize every time i don't do anything to prompt these apologies i don't even care you know like at, at a certain point you just realize that people don't real people who are not um people who are not saved don't realize that they're being used by the enemy so you know they might see themselves as having an actual problem with you but really it's the it's the um the demons inside of them that are upset and you are light if you are a child of god you are light so it's just <laughs> now i can laugh about these kinds of incidents because it's just like you could say all whatever you're gonna say you're gonna end up apologizing to me because i live above reproach i live in a way where I don't I go out of my way not to offend people so at a certain point because I because I have a reputation now for doing that I, I have a reputation for being a kind person I have a reputation for um for being above reproach like I'm not I'm not mean I, I'm not gonna argue with you I it's just not gonna happen so say whatever you gonna say but you're gonna end up taking every single word back you're gonna end up apologizing you're gonna you're gonna end up eating your own words because god don't play about me and it's just it's funny it's funny now like i i can think back to many times where i've like gotten offended or or um taken things personally or argued with people and now it's just like i don't need to do none of that <laughs> I don't need to do any of that and wow what a blessing what a blessing to not have to fight my own battles what a blessing um like you can literally laugh in the enemy's face <laughs> because it's all pettiness at the end of the day right if i have not done anything really to to offend anyone then whatever you trying to argue with me about is petty um so I, I just it's just such a a beautiful thing to walk in under the shadow of the wing of the lord like 
he really does fight our battles the big battles and the small battles and the the minute soldiers and the you know the ant he he fights from the ants to the mountains you know he ain't got nothing that he is afraid of or smaller than <sighs> so if you don't know god if you don't know jesus if he's fighting a lot i, I was talking to two girls earlier today two of the residents that live in the building that i work at on my way to my hike which i'm sitting um drinking my tea in order to prepare for <laughs> i don't know why i'm like this um saw two girls who you know have been going through a lot and it's visible that they've been going through a lot like young and these are girls these are not like you know 30s 40s year old women these are young girls and they look like they've been going through a lot like hair everywhere redness around the eyes just just I don't want to say pathetic but just sad and I'm trying to tell y'all nothing nobody but Jesus can give you joy <laughs> nobody but Jesus like you can literally be sitting in the middle of a trial and and God brings something to your mind and you just start laughing and it's almost it seems to somebody who doesn't know God it would seem to them like you're crazy <laughs> It would seem to them like you're crazy because you, you're not experiencing life in a way that people normally experience it. Like you can be in trials, you can be in jail and be singing like Paul. <laughs> was it Paul? It was Paul and somebody else. Paul and Silas, I believe, um, was in jail singing. <laughs> singing like in Disney movies they was just in the in the jail I don't know if they could clap their hands because their hands might have been you know chained up but they were singing we need to have this kind of approach like I understand now their mindset the same God <laughs> the same God who brought me out before <laughs> If I didn't do nothing wrong, the same God will bring me out again. What What is the point in sitting here feeling sorry for myself? There's no point. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. God is good. <laughs> God is good. And he will remind you that he's good too. Because sometimes, you know, life can bog down on our minds and we just only consider what is right in front of us, what is right now. And we not thinking about what he's talking about. And see, he will remind you, like, what are you tripping for? What are you worried about? <laughs> Ain't I God? <laughs> like, what are you really worried about here? Control. You're worried about the fact that you can't control things. So how about you let that go let go of whatever it is that you think you have control over because you don't give it to me and i'll handle it god is good <laughs>